Ankuchok. President, please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And the chamber gives the floor to the deputy co-prosecutor to put questions to this witness. You may not proceed. Accusation pour qu'elle poursuive l'interrogatoire du témoin. Vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. We were talking, I had asked you about whether any leaders had come to visit the Kok Ramchek dam work site, and you had described one incident in which you saw a person come and get out of a car and indicated that you had not at first recognized that person. Uh, after that person left in his car, uh, did your superior ta Taval tell you who it was, who that person was? Answer. Mr. President, at the time, Tawal, who was the leader, told us that the person was killed some point. But at that time, I did not recognize killed some point. Now today, I I have seen the Mr. Kilsompon, but uh, he he is a small bill different from the person I de saw at the time who was a large bill. Mais il est de complexion plus petite que la personne que j'avais vue qui elle était. Uh, I'll get back to bâti, the person grand. that Taval told you was Kilsompon a little later. Um, Question, before. Uh, the person Taval identified as Q Sampan came to the Kok Ramchek site. Uh, did the king, late King Father Sihanouk uh, come to visit that site? Answer, no. Uh, he, the king, non. the late king, never visited the site. Il venu sur le site. Do you remember seeing him, the king Question. father, when he came to Phnom Srok or Prenet Pei Prey District in 1976? Answer. I did not see him go to visit Réponse, Phnom Srok at that time. But he went to pray Muan or Kobe Dam. Mais the late king father did not au, visit Phnom Srok. Let me read to you, uh, Mr. Witness. Uh, a few excerpts from your DC CAM interview uh, to have you explain uh, your responses. Uh, starting with this is document E3 slash 9094, Khmer ERN 00734078 through 79. English 00 728 675 through 76 and French 0112 3637 through 38 and uh, here is uh, the evidence you gave in these excerpts question. 
Kusampan and Samdek came to visit Trapping Tamar Dam. Answer. No, he came to visit the Kok Rumchek Dam that I built. Question. At that time, who did Samdek come with? Answer. Samdek came with his wife and Samdek Pen Nu. Question. There were three people. Later, Kusampan came on his own. Answer. Yes, later, Kusampan came with two or three people. I knew clearly Kusampan. Question. What year did Samdek come to visit Kok Ramchek Dam? Answer. Samdek came in 1976. Question. In 1976, and what month? Answer. It was the month that people started plowing the field. There was no rice crop yet. It was between April and May. End of this quote. Uh, Mr. Witness, does that refresh your memory? Uh, that uh, Samdek? The late king's father came to visit the Kok Ramchek Dam along with his wife and Pen Nut. Answer at a time, Samdak did not visit the Kok Ramchek Dam work site. However, he went to visit the Premon or Kok Ramchek Bay Dam. Please explain to us where the area was, uh, what district and what commune uh, the area was that the King Father came to visit. Answer. Kokrum Jade was situated in Pranet Prea, Bante Menjai province nowadays. And, and what, uh, specifically, what did the King Father uh, come to look at or see uh, when he came uh, uh, on this trip? Spécifiquement. Answer. Réponse. I did not. I did not know at that time of what the king wanted to see. He came in a vehicle and he left uh, his vehicle on uh, the, you know, on the uh, main road. After that, he went to pray one. Or go way down. The king father did not uh, go down to the field. He was standing on the road. And was this uh, a road near the dam where you were working? Is that how you saw the king father? Is that how you saw the king father? No answer. He was away from the dam site. It was he, he was away. When the king visited the place, uh, I uh, was invited to welcome the late king father. For this reason, I could uh, see his presence at that place. And in your DC Cam interview, you describe uh, how the area was prepared uh, before the King Father arrived, how you were told in advance he was coming, and how various things were d done to the site. Uh, can you describe for the court what was done um, to the area that the King Father was coming to visit?
answer concerning the preparation. I did not know about it at that time. Je n'en savais rien à l'époque. I was told on the day that the king came that I had to go and welcome the late king father. I was not told in advance that the king would come. Different from the, the former regime, we were told in advance uh, when the king uh, came to visit the place. And I was the only one in the unit who was told that I had to go and welcome the king. Let me read to you, uh, Mr. Witness, what you told DC Cam about the preparations for the king's visit. This is again E3 slash 9094, Khmer ERN 00734079 uh, through to 080, English 00728676 through 677, French 0112363830, through 3639. This is what you told at DC CAM. Quote, when Samdek visited there, they sent the people who were skinny, sick, or swollen away from the national road. They sent all people out, not allowing anyone to stay there not to allow Samdek to see them. He was allowed to see only the women in the camps and units, those who had shoes and black clothes, namely those who were beautiful. It was really good what Samdek saw. They were all good, but they did not allow Samdek to see the skinny ones because the cooperative chiefs sent them all out. And on the following page, question, you knew that the swollen were sent out? Answer, yes, because the upper ordered me to prepare the mobile forces to receive Samdek, end of quote. Uh, Mr. Witness, does this refresh your recollection? Uh, do you recall that the sick and skinny people were taken, sent away before the King Father arrived? And do you remember getting instructions from your superiors to prepare the mobile forces to receive uh, the King Father? Answer. I was not ordered to lead the mobile forces to receive the late King Father. I was the only one person who was invited to welcome the late King Father. Upon my arrival, I noticed that those who were welcoming the King Father were wearing black clothes from the East. And I have no idea where the skinny and the sick had been sent to and had been sent away from the national road. I was doubtful at the time since I did not see the sick and the skinny people. All right, I want to go back now uh, to uh, the instance or the day uh, that you saw a person get out of a car who Taval told you later was Q Sam Pan. Um, when did that take place in relation to uh, the time that uh, the King Father came to visit your area? Answer. Réponse. It was in April. C'était en avril. And it was 
within the the uh, fifth months of the lunar calendar. C'était au cours du cinquième mois du calendrier lunaire. J'ai vu une personne getting out of the car, but I did not recognize him. Later, I was told by Taval that he, that person was Q Sampon. Que cette personne était Q Sampon. Now today, one day before I entered uh, into the courtroom, I realized that uh, that the person I saw uh, back then was not Q Sampon, since uh, that person. Uh, had a large build. When you say he had a large build, uh, can you be more precise? How, how tall was this person? What, what do you mean when you say they had a large build? Answer. I cannot give you the estimate of how tall he was. He, his, he was about, uh, or, you know, over 1.70 meters, or perhaps uh, 1.80 meters. That person was not short. That person n'était pas petite. And Kyo Sampon nowadays is uh, not quite tall, and the Or person I saw back then grand, was tall, very tall. Grand, how, how tall is Kyo Sampon in your estimate, Mr. Witness? Et d'après vous, quelle taille fait Monsieur Kyo Sampon? Answer. Last year, I saw him from afar. He was dernière, about 1.67 or 68 Et meters in terms of his height. Uh, he was not uh, 1.70 meters uh, relating to his height. Where, where is it that you were able to see Kusum Pan close enough Question. to be able to tell that he was 1.67 or 1.68 meters. Answer. It was the time when I had been invited uh, to the court room. It was in 2013, from my recollection, dans le and if I'm not mistaken. Dans le en 2013, si je uh, the person that came to visit the site that your superior told you was Q Sampan, but that you, now you think may not have been Q Sampan because he wasn't, Q Sampan was not 1.7 meters tall. When that person came to visit, were you given, uh, were you told in advance that someone was coming to visit the site? Uh, were you asked to do anything to prepare the work site before that person arrived? No. Even Taval, uh, did not know in advance uh, who would come to visit the site. Uh, we received uh, no prior information. And you indicated in your interviews that when you saw this person arrive, you thought that he was a high-ranking cadre. Uh, can you explain how it was that you knew that this person was a high-ranking cadre? Pourquoi pensiez-vous que c'était Un cadre de haut rang. Qu'est-ce qui vous faisait dire cela? Answer. Réponse. To my estimate at the time, the 
Hassan was a high-ranking uh, official Donc, since uh, uh, he or she came in a vehicle. Uh, At that time, an ordinary people did not have, uh, it did not enjoy that luxury. Pas ce luxe. What kind of vehicle was it? Question, et quel, de quel type de véhicule s'agissait-il Answer, I cannot recall it, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, in terms of uh, the brand name. Je ne me souviens pas de la marque. Uh, Mr. Witness, um, the person that your superior Ce told you was Q. Simpon, uh, what did he do when he got out of the car? Qui est sorti du véhicule dont votre supérieur vous a dit que c'était Q. Simpon. Qu'a-t-elle fait lorsqu'elle est sortie du véhicule? Answer. No, réponse. I did not see the person doing anything. Je pas he vu la left faire out of the soit. vehicle and was Cette standing next to the vehicle. No one went close to see personne the person. He was standing alone, after which he, get, he got into the vehicle and Après left cela, for Phnom Srok. Was this person standing on the embankment of the dam watching the workers? When mid-answer, no, he was not standing on the embankment. He was standing on the secondary road, that is the Red Earth Road leading to Phnom Srok district. Let me read to you, Mr. Witness, what you told DC CAM on this same uh, question. Uh, again, E3 slash 9094 at Khmer 0734082, English 0728678, French 0112-36400. Quote, as we were building the Kok Ramchek Dam, he stood on the dam's embankment and watched. Question, did he stand there for long? Answer, relatively long. I walked toward him because I saw him standing there for so long. I thought he was Taval or Tahong. I thought that the high-ranking cadre had arrived and I had to receive them. As I approached him, I didn't know him." And of quote. Um, Mr. Witness, um, you say that you approached uh, and walked close to this person. How close were you to him? Answer. I was standing close to him. I said that because the workers were carrying the earth to build the dam was about two kilometers away from the place where he was standing. And I walked closing, I was walking close to him about 250 meters away from him. I could not uh, get as close as two meters from him. I want to make sure I understood correctly. Are you saying the closest you got to this person was 250 meters? Answer. Uh, yes, it was about uh, 250 meters away from him. I did not uh, get. Uh, I did not get close to him, you know, as close as uh, 
10 meters away from Je ne me suis pas rapproché de près. And your testimony to this court, Mr. Witness, is from that distance, you're able to tell us that this was a person uh, who was 1.70 meters tall, not 1.67 or 1.68 meters tall. Is that your testimony? That person was over 1.70 meters tall. He did not reach 1.80 meters tall from my estimate. Uh, one last uh, quote. Um, from your DC CAM interview uh, on the, su the subject. Uh, this is uh, the same page as, as the last quote. That is Khmer 00734081, English 00728677378, French 0112363939. Question. Did question. you prepare anything? These are questions about the person that your superior Taval identified as Q Sampan. Question. Did you prepare anything to receive him? No. No one knew he was coming. Question. You didn't know. Didn't you prepare people to receive him? Answer. No. Question. Did he see the people clearly, including the skinny? Answer. Yes. End of quote. Is it correct, Mr. Witness, that this leader that came to visit that your superior told you was Q Sampan, uh, that unlike the King Father's visit, the sick and skinny people uh, had not been removed when this person came? Is that correct? contrairement à la visite du roi. Answer. No, it is not correct. Réponse. Non, c'est inexact. That uh, was a different time of the event. Ce n'était pas au même moment. The skinny people were removed when the king visited Prey Muan. Le roi était venu en visite à Prey Muan. At that time, that person was standing and could là, not. Était debout. Uh, see uh, people who were working in the field. That person was standing on the secondary road, as I said. Sur une route secondaire, comme je dit. Let's move to another subject, uh, Mr. Witness. And oh, that is the construction of the Trappiang Tama Dam worksite. Um, my first question, uh, did you, sir, uh, participate in any meetings at which the plans for the construction of the Trappiang Tama Dam uh, were developed or discussed? Regarding the uh, meeting at the Trapiantma Dam, I uh, did not uh, participate Je in such meeting. I never participated at the reunion au sujet du barrage. I never attended those meetings, either with the upper echelon or the uh, lower Je echelon. I never participated at the telle reunion, soit avec l'échelon supérieur ou même l'échelon inférieur. I was assigned to build the road. On m'a affecté la construction de la route, morning. comme je l'ai dit ce matin. Let me read to you what you told uh, the Office of Co-Investigating Judges in interview E3-9504, E3-9504. Uh, this is uh, the first question and answer in that interview. Question. Did you attend the meeting to prepare the plan for the dam construction? Answer. Yes, I did. 
The meeting was attended by the sector committee, Il the zone committee, le de sector, le the sector de zone, mobile brigade chief, and the chiefs de, de of the sector, du sector mobile units from other work sites. End of quote. Where did this meeting take place that you testified to in your OCIJ statement, Mr. Witness, the meeting that was attended by both the sector and zone committee? Regarding that meeting, I did attend it. It was held at Svaisis upon. C'était à Svaisis upon. At the political school over there. It is currently being used as the party's office. Aujourd'hui, c'est le bureau du parti. And the meeting there was for work assignments to the regimental commanders of the workforce, as well as uh, that of the chief ainsi. of the sector 5 Chef mobile unit. Des unités mobiles, I de saw some mobile chiefs there, vu but I did not uh, know them. Là, mais je ne les connaissais pas. They came from within the same zone. Ils venaient de la même zone. And the plan was on the construction of the Petmore uh, Reservoir. I mentioned earlier that I did not attend any meeting. Uh, that was before uh, that the meeting, when my group was assigned to uh, measure the land and to build the road there at the uh, site. And as I mentioned uh, just then, the uh, place where I attended the meeting in Svaisis Sopon is now the uh, party's Là office. Où je suis allé à pour cette so réunion the meeting that you attended at Svaisis uh, Sopon, Donc, la uh, this was after the plan for the construction of the de dam had already been completed? Après que ait Do I understand correctly? Yes, after oui. we did the preparatory work there, then we were called to attend the meeting. Nous avons and été prior to that meeting, I did not attend any other meetings. Now, in your OCIJ Question. interview, you indicate that this Dans meeting that you attended, uh, that uh, it was att also attended by the sector committee and the zone et committee, et de zone ont aussi uh, who attended the meeting from the zone committee. Les personnes du comité de zone qui ont participé à la réunion. I did not know Je them. I did not Je dare even pas. look at their faces. Je même pas regarder leur visage. I uh, heard that they uh, came from the zone level, On so I was uh, rather afraid of them. them. Donc moi j'avais peur d'eux. Who, who was Question. at that meeting that you did know? Qui connaissiez-vous à cette réunion? I only knew Tawal and Tahum amongst the uh, participants in the meeting. These two actually chaired the meeting. Ces deux ont la Tom Krautinu and besides uh, these two, uh, I did not know those as senior people. Je ne pas ces hauts dirigeants, ces personnes de rang plus élevé qui étaient là. Now, in your uh, various interviews, Donc, uh, in particular your DC CAM, you talk about uh, how you were initially assigned to go out vous and to build a road, au début uh, a road that was route. to run all the way to Thailand, Thailand. and that uh, at some point uh, you, the plan was changed Et que, uh, and un you un were instead donné, instructed to work on building la, the Trapping Tma Dam. Vous construire le barrage um, de Trapping Tma. This meeting uh, uh, that you attended at Svai Sisipan, uh, was it before or after uh, you worked 
did your work avant? Uh, on the building of the road. Après votre affectation à la construction de la route. The uh, meeting was Réponse. held after I was assigned uh, to uh, measure the land for building the road. Cette réunion a été envoyée mesurer la terre pour la construction de la route. Now, when you were instructed to build the road, uh, were you told uh, who it was, uh, whether it was uh, the sector zone or center level, uh, who it was that had ordered uh, the construction of that road? Central, qui vous avez donné ces instructions pour la construction de la route? It was Taval Réponse. who gave me the instruction to build that road. However, I did not know from which level he received instructions before he relayed those instructions de, to me. Let me read to you, uh, Mr. Witness, what you told DC Cam Monsieur on this. Témoin. E3 slash in Khmer in English in English zero zero seven two eight six six two to six three French zero one one two three six two five through two six quote as we were called upon for a meeting I found out found out it was because the upper Ankar asked us to prepare a plan we were asked to make a road to go to Thailand. We were asked to prepare an electricity system to allow water to run from here to Thailand. And continuing on the next page, question, who was Upper Ankar? Answer, Upper Ankar was called Brother Party's Central Committee. Central Committee, Central Committee question. Central Committee means those from Phnom Penh. Le Answer. Question. Le yes. Central, Central Committee. Pol Pot. Oui, Central Committee. Pol Pot, Central. Question. question. He said Brother Central Committee asked us to build the road. Answer. That's right. End of quote. Does that refresh your recollection, Mr. Mr. Witness, that you were told? Uh, by someone that it was the Central Committee uh, that had instructed or given directions to build this road. No. No. There was no instruction from the uh, center. What I knew was that I received instructions from Taval. Moi, j'ai reçu mes instructions de Taval. C'est ce, 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 ce que je sais. Nothing to do to my knowledge with the center. Et à ce que je sache, ça n'avait rien à voir avec le centre. What about when the plan changed and you were instructed to build, build the trapping tomorrow dam instead of the road? Were you told at that time? Uh, who had ordered the change in plans and instructed uh, that a dam was to be built.
as for those who gave instruction for the building of the airport dam, I did not know precisely who gave the instructions. However, Daval, who was my immediate supervisor, was the one who gave us the instructions to construct the dam. And as I stated, I did not know whether he received the instructions from any level. But it is my conclusion that if he did not receive any instruction Mais from the upper level, he would not give us instructions to build the dam. However, that is only my conclusion since I received instructions directly from Tavar. Once again, Mr. Witness, you were a more direct uh, more detailed in your answer that you gave to DC CAM on this. Uh, here's what you told DC CAM. Uh, E3 9094, Khmer 00734065, English 00728666, French 01123629. Question. Question. But was the plan changed to build the dam from the Central Committee or just from Ta Hong? Le changement de plan Answer. De the upper one changed the plan. De Question. Le Who were the upper qui... ones? Les, les. Answer. The Central Dans Committee changed the plan. Qui sont ceux dans Question. Are you sure about that? Question. Maybe Ta Hong was not the one who changed the plan on his own. Answer, no, not Tahong. The party's central committee ordered Tahong. Question, did you hear directly? Answer, yes. Does that refresh your memory at all, Mr. Witness? Do you recall hearing directly that Tahong had received instructions from the Central Committee. No, I cannot recall that. Yes, I said I received instructions from Tahong. And I uh, cannot recall whether I mentioned anything about the uh, si center or centre the central committee. However, I made my own conclusion that uh, Taval and Tahun were likely to receive instructions from the upper echelon before he gave us uh, those instructions. How often did you see Ta Hung, uh, the sector, uh, sector five secretary? Uh, how often uh, did you see him or attend meetings uh, where he was present? Combien de fois avez-vous participé à des réunions auxquelles il participait lui aussi? No, uh, I did not attend no. the meeting with the Hung frequently. It happened uh, once every one or two months. However, the meetings were rather often with the Taval. So you would meet frequently with Taval, uh, but with Ta Hung only once uh, every one or two months. Uh, where is it that you would meet Ta Hung. Uh, where, where was Ta Hung's, Ta Hung's office located? Ta Hung's office was located at Swai, that is at the current party's office. However, during the regime, it was referred to as the uh, political school. Bâtiment. Did that office have a code number of any sort? No. 
there was no uh, code or numerical, numerical code uh, for that. There was no code or numerical code for that. When was uh, when was it, uh, Mr. Witness, that the uh, construction of the Trappian Tamad Dam started? And I mean by that not the period that you were doing measurements, but when was it that the workers showed up and started building the Trappian Tamad Dam? Et ont commencé à en le construire. I cannot recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. I cannot recall which month it was. Je ne me souviens pas du mois. At the time, the uh, work forces uh, started working at the Trappiantmoor Dam work site. On commençait à travailler sur le chantier de Trappiantmoor. Was in the month after the harvest season le mois après la saison des récoltes. because by that time the rice had all been harvested à ce -là, le riz avait déjà été so it was likely in january or february c'était sans doute en janvier ou en février and we're talking in terms of years we're talking january or february 1977 is that right ici janvier février 1977 yes it was in 1977 the uh, revolution revolutionary youth uh, publication uh, party publication that i I uh, provided to you earlier uh, for July uh, to August 1977 uh, contains a detailed description of the construction of the Trapping Tamar Dam. And this is an E3 document E3 slash 771 Khmer 00376 343 English 00. 509-686 French 00594053 Let me repeat the Khmer 00376343 And on that page uh, it states quote Brothers began this work site on 16 February 1977. 16 February 1977. Uh, does that ring a bell, uh, Mr. Witness? Does that date sound uh, about the time that the workers began to construct Trapping Tamar Dam? Vous indique-t-il quelle était la date à laquelle les travailleurs ont commencé à construire le barrage? I do not know whether uh, February match si with the which month of the lunar calendar. Bon, enfin, je ne sais pas quel mois du calendrier lunaire le mois de février correspond. No, you've testified that um, before the workers arrived, uh, you did some work surveying and measuring the site. Uh, how long were you at the Trappian Tama Dam doing this surveying and measuring before all the workers arrived to begin construction? Before the arrival of the uh, workforce, I Après was there for about a fortnight. And uh, how long did you continue to work at Et Trapping Tamar Dam after the workers arrived? I remained working with the workers after their arrival 
and I uh, was working with them for almost uh, a period of two months. Then I was reassigned to go and find fish uh, for uh, the workers at the work site. Approximately how many people, how many workers in total uh, were assigned Combien de travailleurs ont-ils été affectés à la construction du barrage de Trapéangtma? For the Trapéangtma uh, dam work site, there were 6,500 workers. And uh, later on, Et après, districts also uh, sent their mobile, uh, district mobile units, that is from four districts, uh, to supplement uh, the workers who, were, uh, who have already been working. On the Trapeant Modem work site. However, I uh, could not tell you the uh, number of the workers Mais from the four districts. I only knew the total number of the sector total, uh, mobile unit. Uh, des unités sec mobile de sector. So the uh, 6,500 workers Donc you refer to, does, did that represent the number of workers in the sector mobile force? Le, la main d'oeuvre totale de l'unité mobile de secteur? Yes. Réponse, oui. They belonged to the uh, sector uh, mobile unit. À mobile de secteur. And uh, how long uh, did the sector workers arrive first? Et and if so, uh, how long after uh, the arrival of the sector premier? workers uh, did Et the supplemental forces from the districts come to the site? Actually, the Réponse. sector mobile forces en fait, uh, worked there for almost a month before the additional forces from the district arrived. Forces from the district. Uh, forces arrive. additional du district. And during the two months that you were there, Question. while the workers were Pendant building the dam, um, was there a particular uh, area of the dam uh, that you were assigned to, or did you have responsibilities um, throughout the area in which the Trapeang Tama Dam was being built? At the Trapant Modem okay. work site, Donc, uh, au my role was uh, to overall in charge of the Mon workers there. La However, for each mobile, for each district mobile unit, Mais pour chaque it had its own mobile de district. Battlefield commander or chief who supervised uh, their respective de workers. Champ de bataille ou d'unité qui supervisait However, ses they travail. were in charge only of their respective Mais district mobile unit, while I myself was, was overall in charge of those forces at the work site. General des forces sur le chantier. And did Taval Question. as the uh, sector uh, mobile Tabal, unit chairman, en tant que uh, did, de uh, de did he have authority over all the workers at the site, both those that came from the sector mobile units and those that came from the district mobile units? Sector, mais aussi ceux qui des unités mobiles de district?
the world has the authority to supervise all the forces. I mean, the sector mobile forces as well as the district mobile forces. forces mobile district. Although for each uh, district mobile unit, they had a respective chief. However, chef. those chiefs were under the instructions eux, of Tawal as well. And was it Tawal who decided uh, what assignments to give Il, to the district et, et forces that came? Des uh, did he decide where, which part of the dam they would work on and what they would do? Uh, or did someone else uh, give those assignments? It was Taval who assigned to work to Taval qui all the uh, workers there, including to all the respective uh, district mobile units. Y compris aux unités mobile district. Approximately, um, uh, what percentage of the workers uh, in the sector Environ, and district quel, quel uh, workforces, des uh, approximately how many of them were 17 April or new people? They were all 17 April people. Ils tous des 17 April. Because the people who lived in the village, they were also Quand referred to as the 17 dans, April people. Les villages, on les les 17 April. And the people who were evacuated from Phnom Penh were called de new people and they were also considered the 17 April people. So they, for the uh, people who lived in the village, they Ceux were referred to village, as the best people or the old people base, and those who were evacuated from Phnom Penh were referred to as new people. These two groups were known together as the 17 April people. Ensemble, ce que les 17 April. Peuple, 17 April. Let me then make a distinction between the base people Je vais uh, and the, the new people, the, the, the evacuees who came from Phnom Penh or other locations. Uh, approximately, um, how much of the workforce oui, dire quel was base people and how much of it was new people, evacuees who came from Phnom Penh or other, other areas? Nouveau, à savoir, des gens qui avaient été évacués de Phnom Penh ou d'autres endroits. In terms of all the workers in the uh, mobile Réponse. units, the number of the old people and Dans the uh, new mobile, people was about equal. À peu près Here I refer to the sector mobile unit. Je ici de mobile de secteur. Donc, However, à peu près for moitié, those workers de base, uh, uh, from the cooperative or the commune, qui des ou des communes, amongst them, there were more people coming from Phnom Penh plus than de gens the parmi eux base qui de people. Phnom Penh que de gens issus du peuple de base. The uh, ratio could be uh, one third was the base people and two thirds was the de new people de base or those who nouveau. were evacuated from Phnom Penh. Ou des gens évacués de Phnom Penh. Uh, thank you. Uh, let me ask you a few questions uh, about the work uh, quotas uh, at the Trap Yang Tama Dam. Uh, what was uh, the work quota uh, that was assigned to uh, workers at Trap Yang Tama? Uh, how much dirt uh, were workers required to dig and carry each day? 
creusé et transporté chaque jour. Answer. Concerning the Réponse. work quota, I did not have the full knowledge of it since I did not lead travail, the work forces. Pas pas Some work forces uh, had to work uh, during the day travail, time, meaning morning and afternoon. Le matin et and some other work forces only work in the morning and in the afternoon on the other day. So I, have, I had no knowledge of it regarding the work quota. Let me read to you uh, what you told at DC CAM, document E390094. Khmer ERN 0734070 through 71. English 0072867070. A French 0112363230. This is what you told uh, DC CAM, Mr. Witness, quote, the direction was that one person had to fight to finish three cubic meters. If you finished during the daytime, you could rest in the daytime. If you could not finish, you worked until you finished. Continuing a few answers later. If those forces could finish at 10, you could sleep the whole evening. You could rest and not be too tired. End of quote. Does that uh, refresh your memory, Mr. Witness? Was the work quota at Trapping Tama a three cubic meters per day? Answer. Concerning the Réponse. division of workload, en ce qui concerne le partage de la charge de travail, some members uh, received uh, in received uh, three cubic meters Certains of soil avaient pour quota per person. De and terre for personne. some workers who finished uh, digging or carrying the earth at 11, they could de sleep la terre à 11 heures, in the alors afternoon. And some other workers uh, would uh, finish two cubic meters in the morning, and they would continue to get it done in the afternoon. And after that, they could have time to sleep. So it depended on the uh, chief of the regiments who regulated uh, the uh, division of work. You told DC CAM that uh, people had to continue working until they finished their quota. Um, when people were there people who had to work at night time to finish their quota? And were there lights at the work site for people who needed to work into the evening? Answer. When I was there, I did not see anyone working during night time. They only worked uh, during the daytime, so no night shift. I am not sure whether uh, other units uh, would uh, work during the day, the night time. Perhaps uh, in other units they worked uh, at night. But I'm not sure. This morning you. Attends, attends, attends. 
President, uh, please hold on. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, you have the floor now, Mr. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, no objection, just an observation. Um, it's my understanding that in Khmer there is no difference between, or in words, between the evening and the night. Um, I think, uh, analyzing his answer, he's only speaking about the period that it is dark as opposed to the period that it is not dark. Obviously, in uh, English and in other languages, there's a difference between evening and the night time. So I think we should be clear on the exact period that he refers to. Et la nuit. Donc je pense qu'il faut être clair ici sur le moment dont il est question. Uh, it's an observation. I, I think because of the time the sun goes down in Cambodia, I'm not sure that there's such a, a difference between evening and night. Uh, um, but uh, I'll keep that in mind for further questioning. Um, you told us uh, this morning, Mr. Witness, that there was uh, different uh, work quotas uh, at Monsieur the Cambor and Kok Rumchek dams, uh, different work quotas there than at Trapping Tama. Um, if, what, what were the work quotas uh, at those other dams, at Cambor and Kok Rumchek dams? Answer. I told you once already this morning. Je vous ai déjà dit ce qu'il en était ce matin. I did tell you that there were different work conditions. Uh, at some work sites, uh, workers had to carry up, you know, the, the steep dam. Les travailleurs and at other work sites, they had to, you know, use very uh, little energy since uh, the work conditions uh, conditions were different depending on uh, the location. So they had to uh, use their energy differently at different places. I understood your testimony about the different layout of the site. Uh, you told DC CAM that the work quota at Trapping Tama was three cubic meters per day. My question to you is, what was the work quota, uh, how many cubic meters at Kambar and Kok Romchek dams? Answer regarding uh, the work quota at Kokrum J, Kambao, and Dam work size. Réponse en ce qui concerne le quota de travail à Kokrum J, Kambao. The three cubic meters of soil per day uh, was not set by Anka. Ce n'était pas l'encart qui fixait le quota de travail par jour. Cela dépendait des membres of the unit who agreed upon the work load. The, the same applied to the Bank Mall Dam work site, three cubic meters per day. If uh, one worker finished uh, two, cubi two cubi cubic meters of soil uh, at 11, they could rest uh, during the break time, and they only had to finish another cubic meters of soil, after which they had time to rest. Uh, this uh, work quota was not decided by Anka. It depended on the, the unit. Mr. Witness, are you telling this court that each unit was free to decide itself on its own quota? Is that what your, what your testimony is? that work units could decide themselves what their daily quota of work was? Answer. The unit uh, would uh, want to have a time to 
relax and rest. So the unit uh, would decide uh, how to, you know, finish the work quota. I, I understand that a unit would decide, could decide how to go about accomplishing its quota. My question to you is, did the units themselves decide what the daily quota was, or was that something uh, set as part of the work plan? Answer. They could achieve uh, the work quota within the units. Three cubic meters of soil per day, and they had time to rest. Let me uh, read to you again the uh, Mr. Witness, Witness, Witness what you told uh, DC Cam in your in your prior interview. Uh, on this very same subject. Document E390-94, Khmer 0073471, English 0728670, French 0112-3632. Question. Were you the one who decided that one person had to dig up soil for three cubic meters? Or was it from Tahong or the central party? Answer. From the upper, from the region committee. Question. From the region committee? Answer. Yes, because the region committee said that the plan was a hot measure to make sure each person finished three cubic meters. Continuing a few questions later. Question. Do you remember what Tahong said? Answer. He said, now we have to finish the plan as soon as possible in order not to allow the A forces. I assume that means the contemptible forces, which means we have to fight to finish three cubic meters. End of quote. Does that refresh your recollection, Mr. Witness, that it was the region committee, the sector committee, that established the three cubic meters work quota. The region committee did not decide the work quota that is three cubic meters of soil. It was the chiefs of a regiment who decided the three cubic meters of soil per day. And the chief of regiment uh, said that that plan was considered to be the hot measure so that uh, workers could finish uh, the plan before Khmer New Year and before the time frame. President, thank you very much, uh, Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. Winner. It is now break time. We will take uh, the break from now until 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. Court officer, please uh, find a proper room for the witness to relax during the break time. And please also invite the witness back with his duty counsel into the courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now in recess. Suspension d'audience.